Snakes. For many the word alone sparks fear, images of lurking predators ready to strike. But are these fears justified or are they just stories passed down and exaggerated over time? The truth, snakes are not the monsters of legend. They're shy, reclusive and far more afraid of us than we are of them. To a snake, a human is a giant threat, not prey. Venom is their last line of defense not a weapon of aggression. Most snakes want nothing more than to be left alone. They give clear warnings, rattles, hoods, hisses, pleading for space. Accidents happen when we ignore these signals. The myth of the aggressive snake is just that, a myth. Let's look past the legends and see snakes for what they are, masters of survival, not monsters. They wield one of nature's most sophisticated chemical weapons, but use it sparingly. In this essay, we'll explore what truly makes a snake dangerous, meet some infamous species, and discover why these misunderstood reptiles are vital to our world. It's time to separate Hollywood horror from biological reality. Let's learn to appreciate these incredible survivors. Snakes aren't villains, they're essential, fascinating and worthy of respect. When we think deadly snake, we picture potent venom. But that's only part of the story. True danger comes from a combination of three factors. Media group, animated graphic showing three icons. Venom drop, aggressive snake, human silhouette, factual chart on snake venom types, footage of scientists holding vials of different snake venoms at its stock at it distribute underscore equally, venom strength, temperament, and proximity to humans. Venom varies, some attack nerves, others destroy tissue. But a shy snake with strong venom is less of a threat than a nervous quick-to-strike snake with weaker venom. Behavior matters. Does the snake flee or stand its ground and bite readily? The third factor is where it lives. Snakes that thrive near people, farms, villages, even cities, cause the most bites. Most snake bites happen where human and snake habitats overlap. So, the most dangerous snakes aren't just the most toxic. They're the ones with potent venom, defensive behavior, and frequent contact with people. This danger triangle is what makes a snake a real threat. Understanding this helps us focus on the species that truly impact human lives. It's not just about venom, it's about the perfect storm of risk. Scientists measure venom strength using the LD50 test, the dose needed to kill half a group of lab mice. The lower the LD50, the more toxic the venom. This gives us a global scale to compare snake venoms, crucial for anti-venom development. But LD50 isn't the whole story, it's a lab test, not real life. It doesn't account for how much venom a snake injects or how it affects humans versus mice. A snake with mild venom but a huge venom yield can be deadlier than a super toxic snake that injects little. LD50 is a starting point, not the final word. To know which snakes are truly dangerous, we must look at the whole animal and its environment. Africa is home to some of the world's most feared snakes like the legendary black mamba. The black mamba's speed and neurotoxic venom are infamous, but its aggression is often exaggerated. The real danger comes from vipers, especially the puff adder. Puff adders rely on camouflage, often getting stepped on and striking in defense. Their cytotoxic venom causes severe pain and damage. The saw-scaled viper, found across Africa and Asia, is small but irritable, with venom that disrupts blood clotting. These snakes thrive near people, leading to countless bites and fatalities. The most dangerous snakes aren't always the most dramatic, they're the ones we encounter most. Puff adders and saw-scaled vipers cause more harm simply because they're common and hard to spot. Their proximity and defensive nature make them Africa's true threats. In Africa, it's the everyday snakes, not the legends, that pose the greatest risk. Asia's big four snakes are responsible for most snake bite deaths on the continent. The spectacled cobra is iconic, adaptable, and often found near people. Its neurotoxic venom can be deadly. Russell's viper is aggressive, lives in farmlands, and delivers a venom cocktail that causes pain, bleeding, and kidney failure. The saw-scaled viper and common crate round out the big four. The crate's bite is often painless but its venom is a powerful neurotoxin, striking at night. Beyond these the king cobra stands out as the world's longest venomous snake, but it's shy and rarely threatens humans. The real danger in Asia comes from the big four, whose habitats overlap with millions of people. These snakes are a daily reality for rural communities. Their adaptability and proximity make them Asia's most significant threat. In Asia, it's not the rare giants, but the common snakes that matter most. 
In the Americas rattlesnakes are iconic, warning with their rattle and delivering hemotoxic venom. But they're not alone. The cottonmouth and copperhead are also widespread. Cottonmouths stand their ground, copperheads cause the most bites though rarely fatal. In Central and South America Bothrop's pit vipers, especially the fer de lance, are notorious for their unpredictable nature and dangerous bites. These snakes thrive in plantations, leading to frequent encounters with workers. Coral snakes with their bright bands have potent neurotoxic venom but are secretive and rarely bite. The rhyme, red on yellow kill a fellow helps distinguish them from harmless mimics. The real threat in the Americas comes from pit vipers, rattlesnakes in the north, bothrops in the south. They're common, adaptable and often found where people live and work. It's these everyday encounters that cause the most harm. In the Americas, it's the pit vipers that pose the greatest risk. Australia is infamous for its deadly snakes. Here, venomous species outnumber non-venomous ones. The inland taipan has the world's most toxic venom, but it's shy and lives in remote deserts. No recorded wild fatalities. The real danger is the eastern brown snake, highly venomous, nervous, and common in populated areas. It's responsible for most snake bite deaths in Australia, often found in gardens and sheds. Its venom causes blood to clot dangerously fast, leading to strokes or heart attacks. The coastal taipan and tiger snake are also significant threats, living near people and delivering potent bites. Australia shows that the most venomous snake isn't always the most dangerous, it's the adaptable, nervous species living near humans that matter most. The inland taipan is a record holder, but the eastern brown is the real threat. In Australia, danger is about proximity, not just potency. The snakes we see most are the ones we should respect most. The snake with the most toxic venom, the inland taipan, rarely harms people due to its remote, reclusive lifestyle. In contrast, the saw-scaled viper, with less potent venom, causes more deaths worldwide. Why? It lives near people, is aggressive, and bites often. This highlights the difference between potential and reality. The real global snake bite crisis is driven by common, adaptable snakes like the saw-scaled viper, Russell's viper, and puff adder. These species live where people live, leading to thousands of bites each year. Focusing only on the most toxic snakes misses the real danger. Public health efforts must target the snakes that actually impact communities. Understanding this difference saves lives and guides effective action. We've replaced the myth of the evil snake with the truth. They're shy, vital predators that keep ecosystems balanced. Without snakes, rodent populations would explode, harming crops and spreading disease. Most bites happen when snakes are stepped on or provoked. Simple precautions, wearing boots, using a flashlight, keeping yards tidy, can prevent most encounters. Knowledge replaces fear. The more we learn, the more we respect these animals. Snakes are elegant survivors, not monsters. Appreciating their beauty and role in nature is the first step toward conservation. Next time you see a snake, observe from a safe distance and remember, it wants to avoid you. By respecting snakes, we protect both ourselves and these misunderstood creatures. Let's ensure they continue to thrive for generations to come.